The release of IBM Cloud Data Security Broker, the third generation of IBM DB2 Warehouse, and the launch of Microsoft 365 Backup as a Service, all on this episode of IBM Tech Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements about IBM technology. Kick things off this week, let's take a look at IBM Cloud Data Security Broker, a new cloud security solution that can be used to achieve field-level encryption, masking, and tokenization. It's based on innovative architecture where a broker sits between an application and a data store to achieve data security seamlessly. This allows businesses to encrypt, mask, de-identify, or tokenize sensitive data without changing application code. It even does so while supporting customer-managed encryption keys, either a bring-your-own-key or a keep-your-own-key model. Data Security Broker consists of two major components. Data Security Broker Manager, which is a centralized administrative console for the configuration and management of data protection policies, and Data Security Broker Shield, which is a reverse proxy technology that is in the customer's control and performs encryption, decryption, tokenization, masking, and access control functions for each data source. Data Security Broker is now available as beta on IBM Cloud. To learn more, check out the link in the description of this video. Next up, I want to talk a bit about how we're taking a different approach to cloud data warehousing with the third generation of IBM DB2 Warehouse. Data warehouses are mission-critical assets for your business to make quick, real-time decisions, but analyzing massive quantities of data has always been expensive. That's why we've cost-optimized the third generation of our cloud data warehouse for the always-on mission-critical analytics workloads. We use inexpensive cloud-native object storage to significantly reduce your storage costs while improving performance over traditional block storage-based deployments. Once you're up and running, you have full control over how and when you choose to scale. The new IBM DB2 warehouse completely decouples storage and compute, allowing you to scale compute separately from the storage tier. We're also introducing the ability to catalog, ingest, query, and share using a variety of open table and data formats, such as Iceberg, Parquet, JSON, and more. To learn more about the third generation of IBM DB2 Warehouse, hit the link below. To wrap things up, we recently launched the Microsoft 365 Backup as a Service offering on the IBM Cloud Marketplace. This strategic partnership between IBM and StoragePipe offers an easy way to protect business-critical Microsoft 365 information. It features cloud-to-cloud -cloud backup and policy compliance and disaster recovery requirements. Essentially, M365 Backup as a Service prevents you from losing access and control over 365 data, ensuring it is always hyper-available and protected. To learn more about how to protect your Microsoft 365 data, hit the link below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Tech Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in tech now.